It seems like aside from the sequel to Breath of the Wild, when I ask people what their most anticipated game of the year is, this is all I hear. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Potter. It's like everyone on planet Earth is hoping they're gonna wake up tomorrow and Hagrid is gonna tell them, you're a wizard, and they'll be swept off to Hogwarts to live out their days as a witch or master of the dark nah. arts. I get it. It's a nice fantasy to have. And it seems like Portkey Games is trying their absolute best to bring that to life with Hogwarts Legacy. I mean, it's got everything. Room riding, exploration, every spell from the movies, the room of requirement. It's literally everything the Wizarding World has to offer and they're handing it over to you to explore and experience as you wish. But, as good as it all looks and seems, there's a pretty huge chance that Hogwarts Legacy might be the biggest failure of 2023. What? No. I'm talking cyberpunk levels of bad. More on that later. But why is that? It's because Avalanche Software, the developers behind Hogwarts Legacy, are a completely unproven studio in this space. And being too ambitious can kill you. Let me explain. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, you got it. It all starts with who Avalanche Software is and what they're capable of. Maybe you've heard of them, but most likely you haven't. And that's because in the last uh, 23 years, they haven't really made anything that's been worth playing. Literally since Rampage 2 Universal Tour on the N64. How could that be? They're making this giant game that looks insane, so they must have made something crazy good before this that led them to this point, right? Wrong. Avalanche Games is essentially the movie tie-in studio, pumping out games like Hannah Montana, Spotlight World Tour, Cars 3 Driven to Win, and the Toys to Life failure, Disney Infinity. These games are the definition of subpar, and there's really nothing here that proves they're capable of taking on the task of making a gigantic world full of amazing storylines and features and characters that really make you feel like you're part of this huge adventure. It's hard to believe they can go from Lightning Queen to Harry Potter Simulator without any issue. And backing them to make sure this game comes out at the best of the best quality is Portkey Games a studio only known for making a Harry Potter Pokemon Go ripoff. That's no good. You see what I'm getting at here? This is a massively ambitious project, a huge undertaking that for sure costs a ridiculous amount of money and an insane amount of resources to pull off. And unfortunately, I don't think they have it in them. Let's rewind back to two years ago, to the reveal of Hogwarts Legacy. This trailer lit the gaming world on fire. Like, I mean, people were going sicko mode for this game. And even though the trailer ended with a 2021 release window, which of course the obvious world altering pandemic caused a delay there, people were completely happy to let the devs take as long as possible to make sure this game comes out right. And aside from the trailer not running at perfect stable frames, everything shown off looked amazing. But this is where the first problem arises. You see, if the footage they are happy to share runs at an unstable frame rate, then what's the stuff that they don't want to show look like? But all right, it's an early build, so of course it won't be buttery smooth, so it's not really an issue, especially since at this point the game would be almost two and a half years from release. But, and this is a big but, I'm talking Kim Kardashian, this butt is filled with concrete and who knows what else kind of butt. We've seen this exact situation before, except from a studio that seemed to know exactly what they're doing. Enter CD Projekt Red. You have this studio that just made what many call one of the greatest games of all time, The Witcher 3, a game with over 200 Game of the Year awards and sold over 40 million copies making it one of the highest selling games of all time. This game has everything, and every little detail is finely crafted and tuned to perfection. The storylines are great, the animations, the graphics, the side quests, Gwent, the boobies, all of it comes together to create an immense game of depth and scale. This is a huge world where honestly anything is possible, and making your way through it is an amazing feeling, and from start to finish, it's fantastic. So if they can do this with such success, clearly then their next ambitious title where you explore a single massive city must also be a clear success. But you'd be f wrong. Cyberpunk 2077 at launch was an absolute tragedy. Like honestly, the biggest disaster in gaming history. This was probably the entire gaming population's most anticipated game ever, and it came out running and playing like absolute dog shit. Literally nothing you did in the game mattered or had any sort of significance, and it was all just a cover up for this buggy and basically unfinished disaster. And you know what? If it can happen to them, a studio that at that point was on top of the world with every resource at their disposal, it can happen to Avalanche Software, the studio that gave us TAC, the power of Juju. The point I'm trying to highlight here is that while Hogwarts Legacy seems like a game filled with tons of possibilities, abilities and things to do, I'm worried that every single aspect of this game will have the minimal amount of content, and that everything will be recycled after the first hour in the game, and that other than the main storyline, everything else is just boring filler, with every task being a repeat of the previous one, every NPC being a copy, and the world that you can explore on your broomstick being filled with nothing but trees. It's like they made an ocean's worth of stuff, but it's only an inch deep, and with everything they're throwing us, it's kind of pointing in that direction. Their ambition is cranked so high and they're reaching for the golden snitch, but there's just no way they're gonna grab it. There's too much going on in this game. 
and the little studio behind Chicken Little Ace in Action just might not have it in them to pull it off. But I really hope I'm wrong. I really, really hope this game is amazing and that it's filled with rich content and deep systems and really does bring the world of Harry Potter to life. I really hope we all don't get hit with a... Ooh!